This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Sharon Angle announces her bid for the House seat in Nevada being vacated uh, by the guy running to replace John Ensign, who of course is retiring for the, uh, uh, for the Senate. And uh, <laughs> her ad is, it's really special. She's running for Dean Heller's seat. Uh, he's running for John Ensign's seat. So Sharon Angle in Nevada runs for the House and she has released an ad announcing her bid. And if you can hear her over the incredibly cheesy after school special music, God bless you. But here is uh, Sharon Angle. Uh, we think she's at her home, someplace that is made to look like her home Something here. Imposing as her home. It's probably. I mean, you know, you can check the background. It's, it's a lovely scene. I think her sugar and spices are right behind it. Uh, she should do it in front of a casino, okay? We get it. It's Nevada. <laughs> uh, so anyway, here's Sharon Angle making her announcement. Uh, it is, uh, not surprisingly, incredibly painful. Families across Nevada are discussing losing their homes, unemployment, and making ends meet. I know that's what I've been talking about with my children and their families because of the state of the economy. The 2010 election was bittersweet. Conservatives had some victories, but we still face obstacles from Democrats in Congress and in the White House. The Obama administration has made it clear that it intends to pursue unconstitutional legislation like Obamacare, job-killing policies, new regulations, and Can a federal stop for a spending increase that will paralyze our economic health. So, um, I love so many things about this. I, I like that, I get it that you guys call it Obamacare. I got it. But don't act like he calls it Obamacare. Dangerous initiatives, dangerous unconstitutional initiatives that Obama is passing like Obamacare. Just, it, do you not get when you hear her that this person is not as smart as the person to her right or to her left or behind the camera or next door? I mean, it's, by the way, just so we, before we finish the rest, let's finish the ad and then I'll, I'll come back and I'll make fun of Sharon Angle some more new regulations, and a federal spending increase that will paralyze our economic health. And the Democrats in Congress have pledged their support for this agenda. That's why today I'm announcing I am running for the United States Congress. The effort to bring the people's voice back into government did not end in 2010. I'm Sharon Angle. I approve this message, and I'm asking for your support. I need your help. Who's going to give her help? I know people will. Those ads where somebody just sits at her kitchen table and she's got the coffee mug there, it just feels so wildly inauthentic. Man, she's not drinking coffee. They're shooting a commercial. There's no coffee in there. And if it is, it's incredibly cold. And she's got the both hands. Over. Just stop it. For the love of God, stop it. It reeks of inauthenticity. And what's wrong with this country, among the many things wrong with this country, is that until she announced that she was going to run for this seat in the House, for Dean Heller's seat in the House of Representatives in, from Nevada, that there were discussions about whether she would run for president of the United States, saying that uh, she was investigating back in January. She said, I have lots asked about the running for president. She said, I'll have lots to say on that. I have options for the future. I'm, invest I'm investigating all my options. Well, okay, you know what? Uh, I'm keeping my options open as to whether I'm going to challenge Barack Obama in 2012. I'm just keeping my options open. I'm talking to some people. You know what? It could go either way. Uh, it's. I think it's changed. I remember way back in the day when I was a kid, and we'd say things like, you know, you can grow up and do anything, JR. You can be the president of the United States. That's not a very prestigious thing anymore, apparently. It's, it's, <laughs> it's something anybody can really, like, you, really anybody can do it, even if you have no idea what the hell you're doing or what you want to do because it, it's, it's becoming sense and i think it's a reflection of how politicians what their motivation is it's not about what they know how to do and how to figure things out and how to solve problems it's about catering to certain people who actually run the country the president isn't part of running the country anymore he's a part of being told what to do 
I don't know necessarily for this well, one, but our last one was. Well, that that's and, and true. It's, it's why they want. It's why they're good with Sarah Palin running because they like empty people that they can just pump into whatever they need to carry out their a, a different agenda. How can we have a, a serious conversation with people who think it would be a good idea for Sharon Angle to run for president? I, I don't. I, I, I I'm sta It's sta She decided back in February last month against a run. Well, how did that conversation go? Did they just huddle around? Was it serious? I don't know. We got the pros on one side is that I'd like to be president. Uh, the cons, uh, <laughs> I'm a freaking moron. I don't know. Which way do we do this? The, I'm uh, sorry. Dude. If you are smart, it's, it's now a negative. Or oh, you're just an elitist. You think you're so smart. <laughs> that's right. You're supposed true. to be stupid to run for president now. Yeah, the, uh, you're right. I, yeah, that, that's my problem. I'm too smart to be president. <laughs> the, uh, uh, so this is a woman, just in case you've forgotten, who, as she ran against Harry Reid and was uh, mercifully defeated in 2012. Uh, she said that the city of Dearborn, Michigan is under Sharia law. Dearborn. Under Sharia law. And she also said the 9-11 hijackers came to the U.S. through Canada. President of the United States of America. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks. They've got 75,000 different titles. A book I've always meant to read but didn't have time for is Guns, Germs, and Steel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to it through Audible.com. Actually, if you're a Young Turks listener, you get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT.